Cubs won't trash daddy. I won't roll trash. Thank God you're alive. You have a map to the secret planet? This Discard to Reload. It's Discard to Reroll. It's a podcast about a little dice and card game we like to call Star Wars. Destiny, I'm your host, Mr. Chip, and thank you for listening. And uh, kids, wherever you are, I want to give you a warning right now. The group we've assembled, uh, I think you're going to see where the, the positive interactions will be and maybe some of the more controversial ones. Uh, we've got uh, with us, as uh, has been very regularly lately, and we're trying to steal him from the Jedi trials. It's Mike, the Rebel Spy, Rudin, all the way from California. Mike, how are you? What's up? I am awesome. Fresh off your world's trip, and I told you that you're supposed to leave these other guys at baggage claim, but they made their way back to Georgia. It's Jay and Chris from Double Blanks. Gentlemen, it's been a long time. How are you guys? Uh, All right. Well, thank you for... (laughs) Did we start? It's ready to go. (laughs) Any... Guys, are we hot? The party is where you guys are. How are you, gentlemen? It's good. To, it's good to talk to you again. It's it's good to see you again after seventy six years of not letting me be on the podcast. Yeah. About time you brought the real coaches on here. You know, and don't even get me started on the last time I've been on this show. It's funny because uh, we actually, uh, Mike and I talk because he's been the regular co-host now we've talked about starting a resident evil podcast and uh since that game has been over for about seven years we thought why not do like a live play of that which is good it's the the perfect time yeah so how's that going for you guys good it's done it's all finished yeah all right well congratulations on that are you eating (laughs) crackers you, no, you, Jay, are you eating right now? Yeah, crackers. Unprofessional. <laughs> you waited. That's the point. <laughs> oh, God. I waited till we started. Uh, if you want to be <laughs> a part the of the p- program, it's questions at discardtoreroll.com. We have a website and a Twitter. It's the Twitter. It's discard to reroll. And I'll tell you, I was worried about topics to cover. Uh, and honestly, it's just been an amazing amount of information that's come out. And I think all of it has to do with the fact that worlds just happened and all three of you had a chance to be there. Two of you had a chance to play and one of you played more than the first round. Is that true? <laughs> or do we not want to, is that, is it too soon? Oh, uh, well, Mike made it day two. Chris was press pass. He was asked anyway, so he didn't get to play. Okay. And did you bring cards, Jay? Oh, I brought oh. some cards. <laughs> all right. I just want to make sure Crash you have to... cards. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw when Mike changed the channel. Too. What's the channel name now? I missed it. I got to see. There's a lot of shenanigans going on over here, folks. It's going to be hard for you to follow this one, but trust me, it'll be worth your time. That's that's oh, what a goof. <laughs> oh my goodness. A funny. Jay. Funny, funny group. Listen, if you had fun, you won. And did you have fun? Dude, no. It was an absolute <laughs> blast. One of my one of the best weekends ever yeah well that's Easily. that's awesome how about you chris no okay <laughs> that's it it's the last time you're going <laughs> God. no for real it was like getting to meet everybody and meet all the fans and it was it was more about meeting everybody and hanging out with everybody than it was about the game for me it was so much fun awesome Awesome. And Mike, uh, you, you had a really good experience and competitive one too, which is congratulations, by the way, for that. Thanks. Yeah, I was real close to a mat, um, Oof. which was a bit of a bummer, but only like because I had made it that far, which I didn't even expect to do in the first place. So who cares? Like I, I went to go hang out with people and just like have a good time because I knew that I wasn't going to be like, you know, like competitively prepared enough um and i did exactly that and it was such a fun time like oh my god if if any of you guys out there are considering it even like just make it just 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 be there it's so much fun what was the well, let's let's just oh. say let, let me ask you this mike 
would it All have right. been as uh, fun if Double Blanks wasn't there? No. <laughs> the party is Double Blanks. <laughs> Mike, I don't know if you saw, but but on the one year anniversary episode of uh, Double Blanks podcast, uh, one of the hosts made the assertion that the reason why Destiny may have seen a dip in its popularity was because they hadn't been streaming content uh, of their plays online. Just want to make sure we know. I want to make sure we know where we're at here in this conversation. (laughs) And you know what? Many people would agree because I saw all the reaction on Instagram. I mean, uh, fantasy flight even posted you guys on their Instagram. What are they thinking? They know we're the poster child. My God, my God. But it looks like (laughs) they know this. Yes, it looks like it was an awesome time. T- t- walk me through, though, the beginning. And I know there's plenty of places people can get recaps of the whole event. And I want to talk about the streaming, too, because it was extremely exciting to see all the games that were played. But what was the total? Did they announce how many people were entered in, like, the uh, the main event for Worlds? 900 and, well, I mean, for every single game. I'm 900 f- and, like, 90 or something Okay. Like that. And then yeah. for Destiny, for, it was like 300 and something. It was, it was like, like 330, I think. Yeah. You see, that's healthy to me. That seems really good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was like a hair less than X Wing. And X Wing's mm-hmm. their largest game. So that's impressive. You do the math. Yeah. Destiny is not dead. No, no, that's I'm a, not even close. That's what I learned this weekend. <laughs> yeah. And they, they uh, it so really is not. They posted a, uh, like this weird stat, like infographic on their website. And we'll have a link in the show notes for that. And it was like, uh, let's see, check out the infographic below to see who won and to catch up on all the important information, blah, blah, blah. So they said uh, 22 countries are represented. Um, Other than the U S it was Canada was 26%. Great Britain was 23%. Germany, Australia, Brazil, Poland, Spain, France, Mexico. Like it's amazing. Um, And then there's a whole bunch of other ones like Denmark who had uh, the final two. Mads was in the final two from your Destiny podcast, which was awesome to see. Um, and it said they didn't give you the numbers, but they said that. Uh, well, here it is, right here. Number of ga- the number of games played was three thousand five hundred and fifteen, and then Armada was one hundred and seventy five. Star Wars, the card game was one hundred and seventy one. <laughs> uh, Imperial Assault was four hundred and twenty one. Uh, Destiny was one thousand and sixty eight, and then X Wing was sixteen hundred and eighty. So you were right; it's just a little bit underneath that. Um, uh, they, I don't know why, but they tell you the meals consumed. It was 1,313 <laughs> meals consumed, not by Mike Rudin. Cause he found the vegan nope. restaurants there. True. And then, That's uh, right. 1,000 and what is it? No, 105,300 prize tickets awarded. It's a That's lot a of lot. prize tickets. Yeah. That's, That's a, a lot. lot. Five of them <laughs> unjustly. So <laughs> <laughs> do tell please, Chris, why, uh, why yeah, do you say yeah. that, sir? All right, so real quick, <laughs> you can get a recap about worlds anywhere, but you're only going to get the good stories from yes. here. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right, let's. Let, what happened, Chris? Man, okay, uh, I'm playing these pods right because right. Uh, I want the prizes. Yeah. Um, first of all, mm-hmm. FFG is trash. Mm-hmm. We all yeah. know this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can't do nothing right. Wouldn't let me in the tournament. The the the. the <laughs> I I met I met uh, Jeremy. We met Jeremy uh, the night before at the bar, and I asked him if I could play. He said, "Hell no." Told me to go sit down. <laughs> um, so I was like, "Hey, screw it. I'll just go do pods and I'll win tickets." And uh, um, by the way, I just want to say this: uh, if you look at my live stream two weeks before Worlds, I called Kylo Anakin to win. So. Uh, just gonna pat myself on the back, Chris. That, I, I was gonna give that. you more credit than that. Uh, you told me way early in the meta, like way early in the way meta, way early. Way I was like, dude, I'm telling you, you Kylo did. Anakin's the deck. You did say Everyone that. Everyone laughed at me. You did say We're that. Laughing now. <laughs> well, they're still laughing, but I mean, you did say that, so that was good. But anyway, you can please continue. So, anyway, I get my tickets. Uh, the first thing I buy is the pimped out Vader Palpatine play mat. On Mustafar, oh, looking yeah. sick. Looks so. I good. have some leftover tickets, and I uh, I noticed that you can get like a lot of the old promos. Like I I probably played more Luke one than anyone else in the world, so I deserve the full art Luke more than anyone else in the world. I feel like, 
And so I was like, I'm going to buy that. It was 20 tickets and the Vader one was 25. And I had, uh, so that's a total of 45 and I had 50 tickets. So I bought those and the FFG guy was like, well, um, we don't do fives. I'll just have to, I'll just have to char- charge you five extra. And I was like, that's oh. fine, whatever. Then the very next pod I go play, because it took so long to get the pod going, they gave us a consolation prize of a five point ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I ask the guy, he says, well, they were from last year, yada, yada. yada. We look at it. It says 20. 20- Fucking eighteen <laughs> world championship twenty eighteen. Now you tell oh, me. We, oh, we can cuss on this show. Uh, that no. story would have been a lot more funny. Evidently, <laughs> I express hey, myself. I don't know if you heard in the streams, but hey, it's open season now. So I mean, whatever the the, the okay. Well, roofs off the joint. Case, that, <laughs> the- I, I, after after this past weekend, I've determined that FFG stands for. F- games <laughs> great <laughs> what an ambassador we have here with us today <laughs> they let you in his press for christ's sakes yeah, yeah. And guess what they didn't give me any swag i had to steal it so i go up to the desk right <laughs> okay, great everyone's going to the tournament they get sleeves and a book and like a vader book and a t-shirt they keep the t-shirt, t-shirt. behind the desk, so i knew i wouldn't get that yeah but then they just give me my press badge and i don't get any sleeves so I got to wait for the FFG employee to walk away so I can go up there and snag some of that stuff. I'm not leaving empty handed. What were the sleeves? <laughs> they say nice. world championships, 2018. Nice. And they're yeah. really nice ones. Actually. They like the mat. So, so I go through all this to get those uh, sleeves. And then we leave all of that in the Knights of Ren, in the Knights of Ren's room. <laughs> wait, wait, room. wait, what? <laughs> This got and weird fast. I we don't, really... don't get we don't get them back because we don't want to do that stupid trash deck free for all. So Sugi <laughs> is off in Orlando right now with my sleeves, <laughs> popping in a f- tape. <laughs> great, great. Let me mark that real quick. Got it. Okay, good. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> No, wait a minute. I, all I heard was you guys. I don't even know where to start or where to stop at this point. No, sitting on the edge of his bed, the VCR is in front of him. The side table is nothing but my sleeves. It's in the foreground. And my t shirt and our binders. <laughs> what is the binder you got? Tell me about this binder. Yeah, the, instead a, of giving out deck boxes, they gave out card binders. Not like the one that I mocked, the Leia one and stuff. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. Like, li- <laughs> like, have you seen the little card binders that oh, hold like X Wing? Yes, yes, tiny yes, cards. Yeah. They're like that, but they hold regular size cards. Okay. Is that was they, it? They, has it has Vader on the front. You gotta like take two, a picture of that. Two, two two cards by two cards. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. It sounds like I'm so I'm just jealous of all of this that happened. Maybe not of the tape that you talked about, but I'm jealous of the other stuff. <laughs> okay, so, so that, that's why you got to come next year. Ah, man, I'm definitely so, I'm so the, bitter. The we 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 all all the content creators and all the players got together with Jeremy at a little a little shindig called uh, Joe Sensors. Uh, yeah. We had the three v three tournament on the first night, and the second night we just had to get together, right? And we were doing prize giveaways. <laughs> so let's talk about some of the stuff oh we won, God. guys. Yes, what, what'd you win? I can't wait. <laughs> Ready? So D House wins a thermal deck box. It's pretty yeah. cool. I don't know if you've seen them, Mr. Chip. Oh, they, yes, uh, yes. When, when you touch them, they like turn co- different colors, they react to heat. Yeah. Uh, he, oh, sweet. Yeah, I, he won the black one, and I won the green one. And then <laughs> Jeremiah, no, one wait, wait, or, one more. Jay, no, 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 no. I, I'll tell the story. Jay's been drinking all night. He's like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh no! So he goes, and of course, he's like, watch my ticket to see if it gets called. Of course, it does. Oh no! He wins and I'm sack. gone for like an hour. You're gone for an hour. You come back. I'm like, well, you won something. He won like, like. <laughs> <laughs> he won like a pool a cinch bag back yeah. with no like logo on it at Just all. A bag? No, no, no. Where's it at? It says VI Ultimate Guard VIP, baby. Oh yeah. 
Well, you are <laughs> clearly. <laughs> I promise you, you don't want to win this. Okay. <laughs> it's like it could be worse. <laughs> Some guy with a picture of tokens. Oh yes. no! <laughs> Wait, what? How did he okay, win? So <laughs> apparently. Someone with the chance cube was going to bring tokens, oh, no. but he got into a fight with his mailman and had to just <laughs> settle for a picture of tokens. Of what he's got, of what he might win. I got that for Christmas one year. I got that for like, you're going to, you're going to get this jacket and I never got it. It's got the picture. To That's clarify, terrible. you put your address on it and they send them to you later. Oh, there you go. But it was a picture of tokens. <laughs> Oh my god! So, do you have the sack with you? By the way, did you get the sack? Yeah, it's right here. That's awesome. Yeah, man. And then, uh, and then some. Sorry, sack got a freaking bandana from Double Blank. I, Jack won it, didn't he? <clears throat> oh yeah, Jack won it, and another sack. I don't know who it was. That's what got him to top eight. Yeah, was that bandana. Course, I mean, absolutely. No, that no doubt poor guy that's what got the t- that's what got, <laughs> got bobby to the top tables that's yeah. that, that that's why i didn't win all my games on on that day yep dude why I, didn't I, you ask I, for one i should have i should have damn ne- oh next God. year i'll know better <laughs> so t- I got t- plenty t- tell me about the tournament that you guys played in so it sounds like the the tournament oh, that the, all three the of you won three that, that we won yes that we wrecked was it the three of you oh guys my God. Yeah, yes. it was, it was oh, guys, it was you want to talk about our deck list? <laughs> I, I help me understand the I think, structure of I the think tournament. I'll start. I played Kylo Anakin, which was like an identical deck list to the one that won the world championship. <laughs> Mike, what did you play? Your regular yeah. Edward Chen. Yeah, I, I played the, the Boba Phasma deck that I ended up deciding to play the next day in the tournament. <laughs> so you, so you actually you played play, your tournament Jay? deck. <laughs> All right, so I was. <laughs> oh no! I was drunk. Oh god! For like, Since like two three days o'clock. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was this the day that I dropped from the tournament? Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. because I was trying to do press coverage <laughs> on your ass, and it's oh like I did such a good job. If you look at the Facebook, it's like getting ready for round one, and then it's like round one. He's up against Talzin or a Singh, and I have a picture of you playing. <laughs> And then it's like round one's in the book, going into round two, and then the next picture is us at the bar, your face down with a glass of beer. And I'm just like, we're calling it. Yeah. yeah I so- did an update for three days. <laughs> that was your last post? Yeah. People were like, oh, what happened? <laughs> they are so, so glad they like- kickstarted you guys. That is great. Or whatever they did. Yeah. Go fund you. <laughs> that was like at two o'clock. Yeah. So like I went straight to the bar and drank until like midnight when oh. we were done with three V three. So so that was a fun morning the next day. So what was three, anyway, what was three V three? Like what was the what was the tournament? Like how was it structured? <laughs> so I had to explain what my deck list was. Please, yes. I was playing Talzin and half my deck was even cards. Oh. <laughs> and they were trash cards like that stupid what's that card? <laughs> It's like do something and get a resource. What was that support? What's it called? No, what was the card with Luke and Yoda on it that every time you drew it, you were just like, This card again. <laughs> and you would do Talzin's ability, it would be that card. I think that's some like- spice. That's some serious double blank spice, man. That is good. What, what- is it called? You, you, you stronger you have become. Yeah, strong you have, and and you you had like two perseverance in there. <laughs> Dude, they were bad stronger you've almost. become. <laughs> what? But here's the funny thing: after a couple of hours of playing, Mike walks up to me and he goes, "Dude, we're in the finals." <laughs> he said, "We're in the finals." <laughs> I said, "Ow!" <laughs> Stronger you have become as a zero cost event. It's count the number of upgrades you have in play. Reroll up to that many of your dice. Yours and your opponents. That's a, no ambush, nothing. That's it. Every time it's the I worst art. So that is the bad. worst art of loot ever. Would, I would finish my game and I'd look over and I'd be like, how you doing? You'd activate towels and you flip the top card of the deck. It's stronger you come. You're like, God damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you made it to this the part, and it was oh, a one God. of. <laughs> you made it to the finals. Well, yeah, Jay. Jay, what was your what, what was your record with that deck, Jay? The other card was remote stockpile, exhaustive support to place oh, one resource God. on it. Oh no! <laughs> or take the resources. That's so bad. bad. Look at that. My art. record was three and one. <laughs> <laughs> I won three Ag- ag- games against it. like like meta decks. Yeah, like, like Sabine Ezra and like <laughs> Scarred. What else did I play against? Like a a mill deck, Yoda, Riken, or something like that. I don't remember now, but oh my God. it was like legit decks, and I was winning. It's By the way, our team name was Two Blanks, One Stank. That's nice. Best team name. Yeah, that's nice. There it, needs to be we, we pleasant. There needs to be shirts for that. But you won. And what was the uh, what was we the prize for winning? It. Yeah, what was the prize for winning, guys? Having to carry comic Jay book. home. Yeah, we got book. a little thing on our badge that said "Champion of the Real Tournament." Did and, you write? Um, did you write it on it? And we won some comic books. Okay, good, good. Tell it, me, it was um, like a like like a bring your own prize type. type nice. I mean, I felt like bring a bring your own prize, but. That's great. <laughs> bring, yeah, bring your own prize. That's like our <laughs> Christmas something, and then if you win, you get to walk yeah. away with it. It's like my Christmas yeah. exchange. I always try to get my gift because I know that I'm going to like it. Tell me about the <laughs> um, the center itself. Like it, it, they had a lot of people. Obviously, is it? Is it? Yeah, it sucked. It's <laughs> it's, it's not a it's not a good location. It's, no, it's, it's I mean, too it's too small for what okay. they were trying to do. Yeah, way too small. Yeah, the 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 location's great, but for that yeah. many people, it was it was a mess. Yeah, yeah, it seemed it. Well, it's like the the actual center wasn't too bad. I didn't yeah. feel crammed in the actual center. Did you guys? Uh, cer- certain times, like when the the last day. Uh, yeah, the the last day, like when they didn't have uh, pods at the Radisson. Yeah, or like the second to last day, and every <laughs> like everybody was lined up like to the door for something. Yeah, and there was just like so many people in yeah. there. And like no, it was just so disorganized. So tell yeah, me, that that was rough. <laughs> but the first couple days, they had the pods at the Radisson, and then they had just the tournament going on at the FFG Center. And I felt like that was enough room. But the room that mm-hmm. they have at the Radisson is not nearly enough room. The first two days no. for pods, it was like an hour wait at least, really, just to do a pod because they didn't have enough. Sp- tables so explain to me how that process worked so i mean there there's there was no the main tournament didn't happen until <laughs> what two days after things started right like what when did uh, the, the tournament proper start i think it started, it started on thursday right or yeah, that's when that, i was on the first day and i played okay. thursday that was thursday okay so the pods that were going in the ho- so the hotels right across the street so i mean explain it for somebody who literally knows nothing about that place because i literally know nothing about that place so there's the hotel across the street they rented yep. a ballroom or something there. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then they had pot was, was uh, what's the company that helps them with their events? Um, FFG did all of it. They did. Okay. And did they have Cascade prize stuff? Game. Yeah. Cascade right. games does the other stuff, but I think FFG did all of it. Okay. Yeah. FFG did. And so like, could you win tickets over there at the, at the hotel and then cash them in over there? Or like, where did you have to go back to FFG to cash them in? Back to FFG to cash them in. Gotcha. And they have like but, a, I mean, it's it's a very short walk. Can, can you guys hear me? There you go. So I didn't realize that there you were you dial up. I apologize. <laughs> it's because he's uploading shit Jesus. or something. Oh, oh, he's gone. He's back. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey if you're just joining us, Sir Christopher is here. Where he said positive things about <laughs> FFG. He called f- f- games, which is great, and ended any chance I would be getting spoilers. So thank you, Sir Christopher. <laughs> Appreciate that. So at the Radisson. Um, to, like how many how did you get involved in a pod and for those people who don't know what like what is a pod and how like how did it work all right so if you're sir christopher or part of double blanks all you have to do is you walk up you got this is this is a true story now you walk up and there he goes again god damn it. <laughs> perfect <laughs> sir christopher everybody you can catch him on friday night dice do you want to wait till he gets back? No, you, know you I mean? tell the story, and then he'll he'll come in. <clears throat> All right. Well, I want him to be here. Right, so get him back it in. Includes, it includes him. All right. Is he going to try to get back? Do you think? I'll have to summon him yeah, from from the. There the he is. Hey, everybody! If you're just joining us, it's Sir Christopher. There he is, Sir Christopher, ladies and gentlemen. 
All the way from Georgia and dial up. I don't know why. Hey. Yeah, George, George dial up. <laughs> Jay was just telling the story about how you joined a pod if you were uh, a member of uh, Double Blanks or Sir Christopher. Yeah, so if you're Sir Christopher or a part of Double Blanks, this is a true story now. All you got to do is you walk up, you say, I want to join a pod for Destiny. And the, the guy was looking down. He's like, it's going to be about 50 minutes. He looks up. He sees Sir Christopher's face. His face brightens. He's like, well, uh, we might can find room for you if, you're, if you really want to play. And he says all of the Knights of Ren. He, the guy doesn't recognize any of the Knights of Ren. He's like, but for Sir Christopher, I'll get you a spot. So he gets this like tiny area on the end of a table that can only fit like three people. <laughs> But they had to play eight games right there. And it's like it was an hour wait. They were like, we'll do it, I guess, even though we ain't got no room. So Christopher himself got all the nights into an early uh, pod. There you go. And so how how many people were in a pod total? Chris says he's still cutting out, by the way. How many people were in a pod total? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's it's uh, three three rounds, okay. Um, and then you get a payout payout of tickets based on how many rounds you win. So just for entering, you get ten points, um, and then for each win, you get ten additional points. Oh, that's awesome! Okay. So all the pods that I entered, I ended up with forty points. Okay. Oh, did you? Really, okay. How many pods did you enter total? <laughs> uh, I was in two two pods. Okay. Yeah, I did think- like four, maybe five. Okay. Somewhere around there. And how many points you end up with? Uh, I got a play mat that was 90. And Dang. then I got two sets of battle droids, which are 60. Oof. So 90 plus 60. Well, I ended up with 150. That's a lot of, that's a lot of tickets. Yeah. What about, uh, what about Chris? What did he end up with? He ended up Chris with a shitload. Because yeah. he, he played like eight pods. And six of those pods, he went 3-0. and oh, And two of those pods, he went 2-1. and one. Damn. So like he got almost max tickets for all of his. Yeah, wow, that's impressive. He what, was pounding it, dude. What were the coolest prizes that you saw? And I, I heard people talking about it. Hondo was like the hot prize. Was he really the hot prize? Well, that that's the yeah, weird it, thing is like they only had <clears throat> Hondo was the only character you can get besides like Kanan for Spot Glass. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why they do it was that? a world's exclusive oh, okay. or whatever. I'm I'm not totally convinced it's a world world's exclusive. I'm Me like I, I'm I'm going to put money on the fact that that you'll see it at MomoCon when you go in a couple weeks. Yeah, I think Kanan was Kanan was definitely a world's exclusive. Yeah, and it, so, it, it has that like world's like watermark on on the front of it. And yeah, the, but the, they the they didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't have anything else though. Like all the other spot glasses like boba han yeah small they didn't have any of that there yeah, so it no. kind of sucked did they sell out of them or no no it's just they mm-hmm. were galact their galactic qualifier exclusives so that's the only <clears> no i meant get d- from. The, the hondo and stuff in the canon oh well i mean they only allotted a certain amount of days so like okay uh, a couple days you couldn't get them because they were quote unquote sold out but you can get them the next day yeah, I and don't think they sold out of any of them though. I, one w- w- one thing that that I thought was actually like kind of kind of cool and was like a nice nice to see um, was that like they like uh, if you bought the the battle droids or if you bought the Hondo they would like punch mm-hmm. your your uh, your t- ticket or tag or whatever your your lanyard I don't, I don't know what it is um, and then uh, like so the, every person could only get one of each. Um, so that like people weren't going up and just like buying them out so that they could sell them on eBay or something. Except Jay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got people <laughs> that weren't buying those like X Wing guys <clears throat> to walk on up there for me. And uh, buy there you those. go. <laughs> Did you get your hands <laughs> on the uh, the hyperspace report? Um, whatever that was, that X Wing thing. So that's only for press badge. So Chris could have gone, but oh. I wasn't aware. So we didn't go the day before. We showed up the day I was gonna play. Mm. So, and how bummed were you when that went down? Like, was there a a buzz in the air after that? Uh, about the hyperspace jump report. Or whatever? Yes, eh, I I think people need to get over it. I mean, yeah, but it sucks. But uh, it's it's like it's not everything's about destiny. So. Right. Every I think everybody like was just too busy having fun to really 
pay too much attention to it after like a day. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even think about it the whole time I was there just because of how much fun we had. Yeah. You're there playing destiny and you you know, you were in it to win it over there and having fun. And I think it was more, the community was a little disappointed because our, I think the, our, uh, anticipation was high. And I think that's what I have learned about all this stuff. It's just, people are excited about it. Like we had a yeah. local on uh, May the 4th here and I thought there was going to be five people. So <clears throat> there was probably like 25 people and it was really, wow. yeah, it was really exciting. Oh my God. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It was really, I was shocked. I was absolutely shocked how many people that's were fantastic. there. Fantastic. So I think you know, it was force Friday, but, or whatever, may the fourth be with you, but um, it was so. nice to see. So I, I'm really one of the reasons why I was really excited for Mads from uh, uh, Your Destiny podcast, I don't know if you guys had a chance to meet them, but on, on their podcast, they are so positive and really, you know, mm-hmm. it's about just communicating the message. Like, look, it, it, the game's going to last as long as it's going to last. So if you enjoy it now, you're going to enjoy it as long as it's out. So don't worry about it. Just enjoy what's here. The meta seemed extremely diverse. Like how many decks were in the top 16 or top 32? Like it was cra- Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, it was nuts. It was pretty crazy, but... Uh, so what did you end up ultimately what did you play jay that got you bounced on day one <laughs> i played qui-gon yoda okay and what, <laughs> what went down like what was the what did you run into that, that caused that to just go so south playing it like at a uh i don't want to say non-competitive level but playing against the average person it seemed like a really sick deck and it has really cool tricks that it can do but Playing at a super high competitive level, it just doesn't do it. It's just not there. Like, it's fun, and it's great. And and against the right matchups, it's really strong. So, like, I think it's better. It it has a really good matchup against Ray Ayla. And the only Ray Ayla I played, I absolutely destroyed. So, I thought maybe if there was a lot of Ray Aylas, I'd be able to play it and do well but i only played against one but if you don't get the right matchup it's just it's just not it doesn't cut it if you had a do-over what would you have played um that's a tough question (laughs) thank you i asked the tough questions in destiny (laughs) i don't have well that's the thing it's like i don't have sabine's so I couldn't play Dude, Sabine Ezra. I would have given you um, any card you wanted. Here, I'm going to say it now in this podcast, as long as you stay connected with Discarded Reroll, we've got you covered. Any card you need. Don't you? Uh, well, I will send you the I cards. I think I'm screwed then. You are totally... <laughs> 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 Funny guy. Well, it's been a great podcast, everybody. <laughs> Rebel Gray but, uh, is the new host. Look out. <laughs> Sabine Ezra would probably be a good choice. I just... Kylo Anakin obviously was a good choice. I probably wouldn't have played that. Chris would have played it. I wouldn't have. Right. Um, R2P2 is the other thing that I was going to take, and I didn't. And there was, like, only one of those there. Yeah, my friend Corwin went. I I think he made top 32 with it. Yeah, I probably should have played that over Qui-Gon Kanan. Or, I mean, Qui-Gon Yoda. Interesting. And, uh, Mike, what about you? So you ended up playing what? Yeah, so after I went undefeated at the uh, the three v three, the one that matters. Yes, we got that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. After 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 we won the only tournament that weekend that actually matters, <laughs> I was like, "Hey, this deck actually kind of worked." So then I played that Boba Phasma deck, um, swapped a couple cards out, and uh, played that in in the event. <clears throat> and so I mean, yeah, so and you you did. I mean, admittedly, you didn't have a lot of reps of that deck. I mean, you know how to play destiny so it's not that big of a deal but you didn't have a lot of reps yeah that deck. it's it's a fairly straightforward deck um which worked to my advantage of course um but like uh yeah i i think i got a, like up, up until now i've played a total of what there were n- uh nine rounds of destiny plus like three out of pod plus three wins there so i've played maybe 20 games with that deck now um I, I think that it's really strong actually. And um I, I if I did if I ran it back, I would play the exact same uh characters, but I might swap out like like one or two cards. Um and yeah, it was it was really, really fun deck to play. It, what was the toughest like where did you stall out with that deck? Where where did what was the toughest matchup for you? Um the the toughest matchup was actually one that I won. Um 
And it was against a Yodo Hondo deck that, that got out four second chances throughout the course oh. of the game. <laughs> That's brutal. Yeah, it was it was a lot. It was a lot to go through. It would like that was easily my just like hardest fought game I think I've ever played of Destiny. Um, the of the games that I lost, um, they were all like extremely close. Um, two of them, like two out of my three losses, I only lost by literally one damage. Um, which like kind of feels bad a little bit, but like I'm sure that there was something that I could have done throughout like those games to to sort of. Uh, I uh, like pull, pull ahead in them. Um, and that, that's sort of part of where I would have like swapped out a couple cards that I didn't end up playing. Um, I had like a dug in in there and I had a vibro cutlass and I only played a dug in like twice. I don't think I play the vibro cutlass even a single time. Yeah. That's tough. Um, so just more, more, more practice of the deck, like more, more games would have, would have uh, kind of ironed those, those kinks out. But like I said, I wasn't necessarily going to win. I was going to hang out and have fun and doing well is just a bonus. And so you finished what ultimately? What was it? Uh, thirty fifth. Yeah, that's tough. That Matt is thirty two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Listen. they they actually did, did it up to thirty three because th- uh, thirty one, thirty two, and thirty three all had a tied SOS. Ugh. And You're, then wow. uh, myself, problem. and then the thirty fourth were tied for an SOS. So I was sort of like one away from Matt. <laughs> that's tough. Dang, that sucks. But it, yeah, you know, it, which it, wait, yeah. that's what D House did last year, and this year he topped eight. He top eighted, so I'm coming for it next year. I'm just so happy about that. Like D House, the guy. <laughs> I was trying to get yeah. ready. I was getting ready to we rip were all on so him. So stoked for for being a dad and like, yeah, look at that's dad bod <laughs> coming out. Here he is, the guy top eights. Yeah, it's yeah, just it insane. Incredible. We were rooting for him the entire way, too, man. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a was blast. Awesome. It's, it's, especially Jay, who kept telling him to not play Ray Ayla. Right. <laughs> yeah, great <laughs> advice there from Jay. I la- I'm telling. I wa- so here's the thing. The, the one of the coolest things about this weekend was how much was online, and I'll tell you what the Chance Cube. They the I don't know what tripod they had their little phone on or whatever they were using. Mm, like they mm-hmm. covered all the like it was yeah, it was it was um, awesome. It was amazing. They had a really really good. It setup was amazing. Going. They yep. were great. It was so great. And FFG's <laughs> coverage was good. Like they had really good cover. I, I want that table by the way. I want to talk to you. about Yeah, that, that table. We're sick. stealing that table. Yeah. And it's like it's it says 2018 on it, so they can't use it again. Dude. So if they <laughs> just want to, you know, uh, that's getting. I don't know. We got to figure that out and get that table. <laughs> but. um <laughs> Yeah, did it? Did you feel it? Did it? Was it like all like neoprene? Like what was the? No, oh, I didn't. I didn't go Dang. touch it. I just want to go touch yeah, that too because it, it was like sort of behind. Um, it, it was it was like in the corner of like the X wing room or like the room where like all the X wing was yeah. happening like throughout the tournament. Um, and it was kind of like uh, they had like stands around it, basically like like uh, bleachers around it, so that people could sit and watch. Um, so it wasn't really like a an uh, area that seemed that was very welcoming, I guess, to yeah. like people to just check out and touch and play on or anything. I would have asked to touch the table, which is kind of an odd oh, yeah. metaphor. Um, you still there, Jay? Back Did you D- just leave? Yeah. Back to the house real quick. Yeah. <clears throat> the best games of the entire competition where it was him against Andrew from the, was it the Jedi council? Destiny. Council. Yeah. The that- destiny council. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Destiny Council. That was the best match I've ever watched. All of the games were like super close, down to the yeah. nitty gritty. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. The, so the and that's my point. The streams were like the games were fantastic. It was such good Destiny. It was so cool to watch. And mm-hmm. I saw live. The, <laughs> I was making. I don't know what I was making. Probably lunch in the kitchen. And then I <laughs> I turned back. And D House is on stream. I'm like, yes, it's D House. And he rolls quadruple blanks. And you hear him go, oh. And then you heard you guys in the background going, yes. It's like cheering. And then he got him. It was so funny to watch that happen live. And then I'm thinking, oh, no, this is going to go good for him. But he's a good sport. And then he top eight. So I'm super happy for him. And uh, what a great what a great job. And- yeah, it's funny because he uh, Andrew destroyed him in that game that yeah. was live. Yeah. But then he comes back and beats him in the 3v3. And every single match was – or the best of three. Yep. And every match was so close. I wish that one was streamed so that we can get that uh, playback because yeah, it was awesome. That'd be really cool. Uh, Jack, by the way, uh, from uh, the Golden Dice podcast, because he trained in Rochester. You know, the guy goes on 
to top eight as well with Sabine Ezra. Yeah. And then he, mm-hmm. he's, I didn't see the match, but he got, he said he got rolled by uh honestly sarcastic. I didn't see that, but yeah. Congratulations. I didn't watch to him. That, either. that is huge news for him. And I know he was just looking to do day two and did really well. And, and really all of our content creator friends did, did great. And uh, that's good to see. Cause it's a lot of hard except, work. And, except double blanks. Except Jay, who was, uh, yeah. That, <laughs> no, no, no. Jay, we, we are champions. Oh yeah. Yeah. I forget. Hey, yeah. Who uh, who cares about worlds, man? We we are three v three champions, and that is and that is what counts. Ultimate guard VIP, brother. Yeah, oh, yeah. don't discount oh, that. Yeah. And your deck box turns colors, so I mean, you got that going for you guys. <laughs> but uh, no, that that's awesome. And so w- the best match I've ever seen was uh, Sabine Ezra, and it was um, actually I got to remember who the other side was. I think it was Yoda Hondo. And it was yeah, that was Andrew. Insane, insane. And now stuff now stuff happened there, and we're going to save a little bit of that. And and not that I'm afraid to talk about it, but I want to make sure we get everybody's perspective on that because it was all I know is that again, I was making a lot of lunches, I guess, over this time because I would leave and it was on my TV. <laughs> I come back and then I come back and then I came back and then somebody told somebody to to f somebody, and I'm like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> and it was like, what? it was. You know, I think Destiny is all about Star Wars, which has heroes and villains. And a good villain is kind of what this needs. Like the excitement's br- – as long as it stays safe. You know what I mean? This isn't anything crazy. Mm-hmm. But uh, a little bit of competition can, can can help increase ratings. But that got a little tense there. And uh, I definitely want to converse about it. But the question I had – and this isn't particularly about that match. But the question I had was – slow play and i'm really here's my biggest fear about and i i've just signed up for gen con so i'm hoping that's going to happen oh are you going yes. yeah i think it's going to go down oh I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going oh, is that going to happen sure the three of us are going oh, oh wait a minute let me make sure i have that right oh we're going so we by we i just want to see who the we is here is it mike chris and jay is that the we that that's is the we. the we okay just make sure what we is there so we is me <laughs> i got a me but uh I think that's going to happen. I think I just got permission, which is good. Ooh, she wants that, me out of the house. Exciting. That's that's spicy. She wants that's me out of the exciting. house. I was miserable. She's like, "Look, <laughs> you should have just went. You should have just went. Why well, couldn't you go? I can't get off of work. I can't just leave work. It was bad. So but anyway. we have to train you. Yeah, we have to prep you, dude. Oh, yeah, I'll be. I need a lot of training. But here's my worry. So slow play was one of the the things that spurred that incident on. Whether whether it was accurate or not, I. My slow play is going to be because I just am freaking thinking. Like, I just need a minute to think. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's the question I have. What, and, and again, not about this match, and this isn't saying anybody did or didn't do that. I want to make sure that's clear. But, like, what would that be? Like, what would constitute slow play in Destiny? Like, what do you what do you think that would be? Is it, like, so, a minute a turn? Is it 30 seconds? Like, I could take 30 seconds, like, the the best of them. Like, there's no... And I'm literally trying to figure out what to do. It's really hard to... It's, it's oh, tough. Great. It's really hard to pinpoint. And there's a lot of things at play here. And I think one of, one of the biggest issues about slow play is, like, one, how do you determine if it is? And two, there's... A, nothing that can be done about it so like say Mm -hmm. i'm playing i'm playing mike round one and i'm it's like towards the end of time and he's slow he's slowed play me this whole time and for like the past 15 minutes i call over an ffg employee i say or a judge i say he's slow playing he's taking five minutes to take one action well, there's nothing they can, they don't give you that time back. You don't get bonus time because your opponent might have been slow playing. There's nothing they can do. The damage is done in the match already. And all that they do going forward is ju- they just m- watch that player to make sure they're not doing it any longer. So there's no, there's no downside really to slow playing in a match to keep, to let you win because nothing happens. There's no protocol, if that makes sense. No, it does. Mike, what do you think about that? Uh, it, I think part of the reason why it's a potential problem is because of what the tiebreakers are in Star Wars Destiny. 
Um, so like it's sort of incur, I don't want to say encourages, but, um, I'm going to, because I can't think of a better word. <laughs> uh, it like sort of encourages like you, like let's say you're playing against mill, like a, like a mill deck is never going to deal enough damage to you to be able to win on time. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if the game goes to time at all and you're playing a damage deck, uh, you are going to win against the, the mill deck if they can't, you know, mill you out in time, which uh, a lot of the time, like a mill deck is, is a slower deck anyway. Um, so if you sit down and it's 30 minute rounds and you know, you're playing against mill, you play as slow as possible for the rest of the game mm-hmm. and, you win, and you win automatically. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, exactly. that's so tough. He, and here's the problem with judging. Now, do you know about the incident with, uh, with the ruling with, um, with Bobby Sapphire and uh, Jeremy? Yes. I do. I do. I do. So can you explain that a little bit? Because I, I, I know a bit about what happened, but it was a card, a particular card ruling, and the ruling was wrong. The ruling wasn't wrong. Oh, okay. What the ruling happened? was right. The ruling was right, and was it? Yeah. Did, did didn't Jeremy actually come in and weigh in on it? Yeah, they had to call Jeremy to come do it. I do you want to tell Chris or you want me to? I didn't see that match. That's uh, no problem. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. Basically, um, by the way, I fixed my internet. Uh, the the antenna <laughs> fell, it, the antenna fell off my computer. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the mouse stopped running. Double blanks, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it. That's how I get my Wi-Fi. It's an antenna that uh, attaches to the back of my computer. Oh, all right. <clears throat> All right, so tell the damn story. Tell the story? Yeah, what happened? Have you told him about the story with the uh, vending machine in the hotel? (sighs) (laughs) No, no, but I want that story. After you tell me about the Jeremy ruling, I want to hear that story. Okay. Uh, Basically, um, he was playing against a Talzin or – by the way, I'm I'm Bobby Sapphire's number one fan, so um, just wanted to clear that up. It's duly noted. uh, Let me mark it. Got it. Yeah, go ahead and mark that down. You are. <laughs> can your internet go back out? I don't know. Can your teeth go back? In? <laughs> go. Oh, funny joke. What a goof. what a goof. What a goof. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you in. On, I'm gonna let you in on the end, Mister Chip. Please. Uh, a goof is a joke that goes too far. Uh oh. Okay. So like, it would be something like a pilot flying halfway to Minneapolis and then turning around and landing back in Atlanta <laughs> and just coming out of the cockpit and saying, I goofed you. That's a good one. <laughs> okay, good. So That's if, a you good want one. A little, if you want a little inside jokage, uh, just you know, tell Jay what a goof. Anyway, um, basically the, uh, his opponent wanted to play, um, I want to say mislead. Yes, there was it's, a, it's a die removal card um, that was not a viable option. So basically uh, there was a three in the die pool and mislead wouldn't have removed it. So he declared his action. He said, I'm going to play mislead. And before he put the card in the disc, he touched the card to the discard pile, but never let go of it. And he said, Oh, actually I can't do that. Um, And he put it back in his hand. And basically the question was, since he declared his action and played the card, does he have to follow through with that action? And Jeremy ruled that he did not. And Bobby disagreed and uh, thought that since he declared the action and revealed the card and declared what his action was, he should have to follow through um, and and resolve his action to the best of his ability, which in this situation would be not doing anything. Yeah, um, what would ultimately happen? In that uh, case? Nothing would happen. He'd, put, he'd pay one resource, play the card, and... That'd be, it'd since, fizzle. You have to resolve it to the best, to the fullest. Yeah, resolve um, it to possible. its effect, which would be nothing. Gotcha. But he would still yep. have to play it since he declared it as as his action. Um, I but I talked to Jeremy after he made the ruling, and of course the, you did. The definitive like statement was that because he hadn't paid for it yet, then he hadn't finished playing it yet. Huh. If that makes sense. So he asked him if he had paid for it yet. He said, no, the resources are right here, yada, yada, yada. And there has to be, I guess, he, what he said is there has to be a definitive time at which that that ruling has to take effect. So if he plays it, puts it in this card pile, removes the resource, puts it back in his deck box or wherever he's got it, 
then he's officially played the card. So is that the moment that I I the I disagree. moment of no return? I think when you declare an action, that should be the moment of no return. Well, that's just all right. So, so it's like, wait, no, so, no, no, no. What you're saying is, I hold a card up. I don't show it to you. I say I'm playing mislead, but it's really force misdirect. So now what do I do? I declared that that's what I'm doing. Well, you declared your action was playing a card. But I said, well, okay, let's see. But it was mislead, though, right? Okay, so so, so, so if, if I say I play, I'm playing a card, then I could switch it to a different card. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so why? What's the issue? Well, the issue is I don't agree with the point that of no return being when the resource is gone. So what if I pick my resource up and I put it right back down? You know, what's the? How long can I hold the resource in the air before it's officially considered gone? What if I slide the resource halfway across my mat and then put it back or a quarter of the way or an eighth of the way? I just I feel like there's way too much wiggle room for that rule. And I feel like you declare an action. Clearly, you should that should be your action. Am I am I getting through to you? So if Just I said I'm, I'm going to move my I'm going to move my rook from whatever chess spaces are called, but I don't actually touch the rook. Do you feel like I should have to move the rook there? No. Or my pawn? Or do if, I? If it's what if it's an illegal move? Right. In, well, in chess, you don't have to. You don't have chess, to declare you... your actions in chess the way you have to in Destiny. Right. I'm about to see at what point you have to pay the cost of the card. Most people do it beforehand. But hey, I guess if you want to succeed in um FFG's tournament structure, pay at the just just this is good advice for life. Just pay as late as you can <laughs> in time because you can take it all back. So he so he didn't let go of the card. He didn't let go of the card at all and hadn't even gone to pay for the for the uh card. Yeah. I'm trying to right. think what's like a one cost let, event. No, no, no. Like, let me reveal- let me put let me put this in reference. The same fucking day that this <laughs> happens, okay? A 10-year-old tells he wins the game. His his opponent says the UK champion Danny from the, the, the three-man meta, the K champion. Yeah, that. The what champion? The K champion. What's they punched th- out as you. He's not, he's not a UK champion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they punched out as you. <laughs> he puts his cards down against the 10 year old. He says, Good game, puts his hand out. The 10 year old turns around and says, No, you can do this, and you're still in the game. And then Danny ends up winning. Now, you tell here. me, you tell so me epic. That, what the right thing to do is here. For what are you d- talking about? This is a completely different. No, it's not. It's don't be a fucking dick. <laughs> it's not that hard. The, how that? can you it, can you can you not see the comparison here? You can't see the link between these two situations. No, it's a completely different situation. No, it's fucking not. What's the? It's what? called have pride, have honor. What's the honor? Which one's the honor? I'm trying. To, I'm. So you're saying? Uh, look, I'm just saying. Like, I, I all I'm saying is I don't agree with the point when the resource is gone is the point of no return. That's all I'm saying. Because it's like. What if I play an event that reveals information and then I'm just like, actually, never mind. I didn't pay for it, so I can take it back. You know what I'm saying? What if I, what if I play Witch Magic and I look at the top card, it's an odd card or an even card. And I'm like, actually, you know what? I haven't paid yet, so forget that. That's interesting. That So so yeah, that would be – that's a better – I say – What's I'm the order just, in the I'm rule? just saying, like, there should – I'm not I'm saying, like – any of the four people we've discussed, the UK champ, the kid, Bobby, or his opponent, the fly in, uh, the, the, the man, the, the superior man bun to me, um, are in the wrong or the right. I'm just saying the rules need to be very defined for these kinds of things. Cause when you get to high level competition, people are going to work within those intricacies, you know, like, those details are very important and it feels like the ruling was made up on the fly. And that's where the frustration came in. Hmm. You know, I think that's fair. Um, I mean, it, it should be just like very clearly like 
stated somewhere when a card is actually like fully All right, played. so you don't you don't resolve the effect of the card until you pay for it. That's in the rules I'm reading it right now. Yeah. It says uh if there are no restrictions or all restrictions to play the card are met, then the player must pay resources equal to the card's cost. If they don't have enough resources to pay, then the card is not played. A player can attempt to play a card even if they do not currently have the resources for it, as the cost printed on the card can be altered by in-game effects. Once a card's cost has been paid, the card is resolved based on its type. There you go. It's on page 14, Star Wars Destiny. Structure. So also, legally, you yeah. can't play a you can't start fulfilling an event its effect until you've paid for it. Well, maybe that's just something as a community we need to do. So better. in this situation, yeah, I right. think it's accurate to say he didn't resolve any of the effect. Right. And I'm not I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just like this is also a big thing when we all started playing Destiny that happened at the beginning of games. Um, I think people would roll out to see who goes first and then they would do mulligans. Mm-hmm. And it's very important to do that in the, you know, uh, do that opposite of that, you know, and it's just, it's one of those things as a community, we just kind of had to crack down on same with simple things like paying for chance cubes. You know, I promise you after, after this weekend, no one's ever going to forget that again. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of one of those things that it's just like, yeah. you know, we learned from it. Um, you know, that's, we learned from it. We're not going to, we know the ruling now and it's sh- hopefully it shouldn't you know, be an issue funny. in the future. Is it, he wasn't paying for the chance cube on the chance cube stream. Hilarious. <laughs> Boom. You just like, <laughs> that's amazing. But that's true. Also, How did it's you, all rigged by D- Disney because it was Ray versus yeah. Kylo. How Ray did you Kylo. all hear about it? Cause we clearly saw it on the stream. The discussion happened. Like, how does that buzz get out from there? What the chance cube thing? Yeah, not paying for it. And by the way, I honestly didn't. Even could know about we do a GoFundMe way. for some WD forty? Is that possible? Because we could just yeah, who's shit. door is that? dude. Uh, sorry, what guys. is that? The California <laughs> seawater? Holy crap! <laughs> that is it's, the squeakiest it's, it's, door I've it's ever dry heard. Dry in this state. <laughs> Jeez, that's why you guys have wildfires everywhere. Your door sparks half of them. <laughs> Holy. Um, My bad. I didn't realize you guys could hear that. <laughs> yes. You know what? Uh, they say nothing rhymes with orange. Yeah. But door hinge. <laughs> door hinge. Oh, yeah. God. It's getting bad. Yeah, so how did the Chance Cube deal, like, get out? Like, how do you guys hear that? I think I just heard it, like, like while we were at the event. Like, someone walked up to me and like, was just like, Ooh, did, did you, you hear what happened? happened? Cube stream? He didn't pay for the Chance Cube. Ba- basically. God. Wait, yeah, I, like, didn't, no. I didn't hear about it until, like, way later. So here's my take after that and i watched a lot of games over the weekend i think once some of these hyper competitive players have their fill whether it be because of whatever the the reasons that cause them not to play anymore whether they've won enough they just want to invest in the game whatever it is and they start to become judges you're going to see a lot of this stuff get cleaned up because truthfully what's happening is there's no like these guys who really like all they do is is focus on winning and all the, the the nuances of the rules and stuff. Those are the guys that have to become judges because without that, they don't have enough. Like if you watch the judges, first of all, the judges, they gave like, they look like a TARDIS. Did you see that? They got these blue, they, <laughs> they honestly look like the doctor who TARDIS sitting out there and yeah. half of them probably, I mean, I don't know how much I'm sure they know the rules. I don't mean to be critical of them, but you know, would you rather have some, one of these content creators who that's all they do is play or somebody who kind of got assigned to the table. Like, I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. They, I mean, first step is to, to set up some kind of judge program. Like right. FFG doesn't even have that yet. So if they created some kind of program with like, you know, good enough incentives to work like right. actually good, like, like top level competitive players would want to do that instead of play. Um, then, it, I mean, that would probably increase the level of competition, but, or at least the level of like rules. Uh, yep sort of enforcement by some margin. Uh, but yeah, I, don't, I just don't think we're there yet. No. And this is only the second tournament they've had. Like I was thinking back, yeah. like it was Vader Raider that won and last year. It, I mean, like compared to last year, um, this was so much better. Like everything about it was just, was just better. So yep. 
if they continue at the you know c- going on this trajectory and if they can get the next set of Star Wars Destiny out at all <laughs> then yeah. next year will be even better. So the, so the ruling that Jeremy did I want to make sure I have it right. He said cards not played too bad so sad. And he got to take back the action or what? Yeah, he didn't he didn't make him fulfill the uh, cards effect. Okay. And allowed him to not have to play it. I'm not saying it's a hundred percent right. And I'm not saying that like, I'm not saying it. I, me and Chris love Bobby and Joe. They're awesome guys. So I'm not saying anything bad against no, them. No, it's not, this is a discussion about the game. And I, I mean, that's got That's totally fair. And I think they completely understand that. It's a, it's a but conversation think, needs to happen. Yeah. I think, I think Jeremy is doing the best he can 100% for the game and doing it the best he can as far as, judging with the rules that he has right and i mean to, let's let's be honest he was probably the only real judge there <laughs> right oh, like, we're gonna be real day one <laughs> yeah remember that <laughs> oh i remember yeah. are you <laughs> saying that i the... asked him a question he was just like yep turned around and walked away <laughs> <laughs> that was a judge yeah. he turned to me <laughs> he was <laughs> You were so mad. You were like, he don't know anything about destiny. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know what? I think you could be that guy, Jay. You should run their judge program. Perfect. It's a perfect spot for you. Yeah. Get all the spot lobs. Because I'm trash. All right. So here's the one other question I have. And I know you guys are afraid to answer because you feel like you're going to offend somebody. You're not going to offend anybody. What's the I don't know. I guarantee you I am not concerned about offending right. anybody. What, and trust me, these guys are <laughs> would understand the discussion. How many, how long, like wh- what would you consider to be slow play then? Seven inches. <laughs> Is it 30 seconds a turn? Is it a minute? I think I think it's totally context dependent. If, if your opponent is sitting there with cards and two like melee sides and they're thinking about what to do yeah that's like so that i mean 10 seconds is too long right um if you know if they got five cards in hand there's a complicated board state right um like you know ton of moving parts like do i do i claim here do i not claim like can i can i get this action in before my opponent claims before me um like you can you can go for a while and i i wouldn't consider it slow play um so it's just it's so hard to answer that that question, and that that's one of the reasons why it's so frustrating of a of a thing. It's just like it's hard to spot when it happens. Jay, Chris, what do you say? Maybe it's time we brought in like the chess timers. Yeah, it was suggested. I just don't know how that works. You know what I mean? Like what? What yeah, does like, that like do? A total of like uh, twenty minutes to to play like your half. Yeah, of the get game, a maybe. very generous amount of time. And if your clock runs out, hey, you probably are slow playing. Right. Yeah. It's possible. I mean, you could do that in the higher levels, you know. I, it, it's totally within the uh, somebody's purview to check somebody's discard pile. I mean, that's part of the deal, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, knowing what's in there, yeah. knowing, knowing what's in yours. If you're playing a Sabine Ezra deck, like, y- you got to double check what's in there regularly. Yeah. I mean, I think that's that, totally yeah. fair. Definitely. If you're If you're, like, laying those out, you know, like – one card, two card, three card, like oh, yeah. that. Right. That's that's slow play for yeah. sure. But yeah, um, I have never seen anyone actually do that. Right. Well, I I know like I I've I've said on record that I think Bobby's the best player uh, in the world, and I still think that even though we have a different winner for world champion, I think he got um, I think I think he got got just got a really bad matchup, mm-hmm. but he thinks about every single action of every single game even when it should be obvious what to do next he still looks at every single option even when he's in a commanding lead of a game he still treats it the same and a lot of people are going to interpret that as slow play you know and it's high level competition emotions are high you know some people don't like losing which is fine i don't like losing myself but um, in, in, in the heat of the moment, you might see like, this is definitely slow play when in actuality, this is how someone might approach every single game, you know, and it's something that I need to do. I need to play slower and think about every single action I take if I want to be a better destiny player. And I don't want some nerd accusing me of slow playing because I'm just va- I'm, I'm looking at all my options. 
Um, now, I, I will say that there one, one of the biggest issues is that a lot of games are going to time. A lot of games are going to time because there's so much... There's so many turns where not a lot gets done except for a lot of removal because removal is so good. You've got people uh, looping second chance and four solutions and all that jazz. And it's like people are getting milled out by aggro decks nowadays, you know? So it's it's just it's at the forf it's at the forefront of everyone's mind that, hey, you know, I don't want to get screwed by time. And if if they even see like a glimpse that someone might be using time to their advantage they're going to automatically assume like, okay, th- this person's slow playing. But um, I just, I don't think it's that big of an issue. Um, I, I just, I don't know. <clears throat> Even if games go to time, you can still finish out the round. And I don't, I don't hate Destiny's tiebreaker rules. I mean, I don't love them, but um, I just, I feel like I've seen a lot of people on Facebook bitching about this. And I just, I don't think it's that ramp it of a of an issue you know what i'm saying mike yeah i'm picking up what you went now Uh, mike you said about tiebreaker rules what do you what do you do i mean what's another and in that match by the way and we'll and uh we'll be talking to him very soon about this which i'm excited to ask some questions about it he knew exactly what the point total was going to be like he didn't even have to count it. I mean, he counted it in his head before, and that's totally fair for him to do that. I mean, that's part of the. It's mm-hmm. in the rules. Yeah, yeah, that's, in the that's, rules. That's part, part of the game as it is now, for sure. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah I mean, and, I, I, and on the other part of that situation, one thing, Andrew is a really awesome guy. He's super nice from the Destiny Council, or yeah, Destiny Council. And then Bobby is a really swell guy. Is he arrogant? Maybe, probably, I don't know. But he's really cool. And me, <laughs> me and Chris had a blast, absolute blast hanging out with him. Yeah, but awesome. in his defense, if you go sit courtside at a basketball game, these guys are calling each other's bitches and pussies and everything else you can think of. So cussing each other out is kind of just part of part of competition especially in like football and basketball so i know it's not it's not the same because it's a card game apples and oranges but i mean it's kind of the same oh i you know there's a time and a, i mean it's like sportsmanship is is really good in destiny i feel like you know to it's i don't think the community is all that toxic you know no um so when something like that happens, it's going to get blown up out of proportion. Yeah. Um, it's just, I mean, it, whereas, was, it just happened on stream, you know, it was crazy. And it wasn't yeah. even like a, it was on the chance group stream. It was on the, the, whatever he was using, whether it was a phone camera. So you, you just knew something just seemed like that was going to go down. Something happened earlier in that match. And I, I had a quick judgment on it. And then I stepped back to say, wait a minute, let me just, there's gotta be more to this whole thing. And, you know, I, I don't know. It's just what it's unfortunate what happens after, which is what I get more upset about. And people take yeah. it way too seriously after that. Like they, they need to just resolve that and, and apologize. And it's just, it's the heat of the moment. Like you said, Jay, I mean, that, that does happen when you have these really, when people really are focused on the competition part of it, which I'm not saying it's bad. That's just not me. That's just not my style. And I tend to not, that's not the company I keep. But when you are really geared up, like both, teams were really intense and focused on winning like that was their whole yeah. objective yeah. that was an intense game it was an amazing it was like so cool to watch that game and it yep it got really heated at the end you know what you come back to each other you shake hands and say hey it's over and then yeah. you know, if things need to change in terms of rules you change them but you know that was uh it's tough when some other stuff happened after and it's not fair mm-hmm like people trying to beat other people up, like that kind of stuff. Like it's, it's pretty sad <laughs> when that happens in the community, right? I mean, we're going to beat each other up over destiny, but the dice are bad yeah. enough when they get, you know, a bad roll of a dice, it could land in your knee the wrong way. I mean, that could hurt. It really, those dice are sharp. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> like, you know, heavy. you and me will never get into a fight over a card game, but it's like, for some I people, I mean, it's, I've, it's, I've, me, I've wanted to beat your ass a couple of times. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, me too. Feeling mutual, buddy. The beaver face, right. say, leg, say, kangaroo that neck, leads to violence. His head. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! But especially it's like, it's, that it's, night you were playing 
Luke Gray. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. Oh, for before you take an action, Tuscan Raiders dead. That was a fun game. Oh, I love it. More than one time. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say though, Chris, before that you had a you but it was very it's poignant. Just, um, how people deal with their problems is is very personal, you know? Um, you don't ever know what people are going through. You don't know for sure, you know, what is the straw that breaks the camel's back in that, you know. Um, so I, I say just like if it's if it involves me, then it involves me. If it doesn't, uh, if it's a personal issue, just let it be a personal issue, you know. Um, but I guess, I guess my point is, you know, you and me will never get into a fight over destiny, but that's not to say somebody else isn't so passionate that they, that they will. And, um, it's, it's, it's a weird gray area where it's like, it's kind of none of my business to be like, you know, you're wrong for what, you know, what you, you and this other person had this interaction that didn't involve me or anybody else. That's right. And that's wrong because it's it's personal, you know. Yes, I'm trying, I'm trying I, to process. And to that's process not that. just destiny. There's a lot of things in life like that, you know. Life lessons. So, do, yeah, you know, Chris, you remember you talked about the snake experiment or whatever it was. You, yeah, you like to break down. Effect. Yeah, cobra. You like to break down a lot of reasons. So there's this thing that I thought of after this happened. It's called the robbers cave experiment. Do you know about that, Jay? Do you know about the robbers cave experiment? No. All right. So let me, I'm going to break it down for you real quick. So this is in like the fifties, right? And it was this experiment to see how like kids interact with different, whether it's conflict or whether it's uh, cooperative play together. So they took these 22 kids, they split over 11 and 12 years old. They split them up into two camps, but they didn't know they were split up. They thought they were just going to some summer camp. So they basically took each of these groups individually and they gave them all these like group goals to work together and build their teams together. And it was like all things that they, they win together as a group and they lose together as a group. So they really got, they bonded and it was positive and they, they even named their, their teams. Like, uh, this was totally the experiment, by the way, would be totally illegal now. It's awful. But like one team called themselves the snakes and one called them the eagles. Like they were all like real positive. And then they told the groups little by little that the other groups existed and it, things started to change. And then they put in, they called it the friction phase of the experiment. So they said like uh, that prizes were awarded to winners. You had to, in order to get a better seat at dinner or you got the different desserts or you got the better cabin for wherever you were sleeping or stuff like that. And it was so bad. Things got so bad within like a two day period that the police were called multiple times and they had to almost shut the experiment down and then they ultimately canceled it because it got too violent. So wow. the, the, the what it was, it's about that sh- that scarce. It's called resource uh, scarcity, or real. They call it realistic conflict. But basically, if people were fighting over what they thought was a, a limited resource, whether it be power or money or an award, right? So they were all fighting over what they thought was the scarce resource, and it, basically, it's competition. You know, when you have those competitive situations, things happen. Violent stuff happens, and I'm not saying this was the experiment for destiny, yeah. but. You got people who, in the heat of the moment, stuff's going to happen. I and mean, that's just, it's the nature of one, the beast. Uh, one of the biggest ma- major, like, lessons I've learned in life is that, like it or not, life is a competition. You are going to compete from the day you're born to the day you die, even if you don't want to and even if you don't realize it. Um, just just through everything, you know, um, going to school, you're, you're competing, uh, you know, for your grades and um, applying for jobs. That's a huge competition because there's other applicants. It's just, you know, comp- being competitive is in our nature. And I just think people have evolved to become very competitive. Um, and, you know, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. And depending on where your passions lie or depending on, like you said, you know, resource scarcity, uh, your reaction to that may vary. And it may be different from mine or yours, and it may be different from 99% of the population, you know? Yep. Um, but that's that's just called being human. No? If, if we were all the same, it would be boring. <laughs> Life would be boring. You know, content creators can be that way. You know, Friday Night Dice, I could be jealous of all the success of Friday Night Dice and think there's only so much to go, <laughs> only so much to go around. But what I found is that, you know, your success does not have to be my failure, Chris. I, we can be successful together. 
No matter what Jay says. Success. No one watches that <laughs> horse shit. <laughs> Oh, man. So what's your ultimate takeaway? Well, thank you for talking about that. I didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable, but we got to, you know, those are the questions people have right now in the game. Let's, Hopefully uh, we didn't offend anybody. Well, uh, Chris said he didn't want some nerd telling him he was slow playing. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. I won't tell you how, again. How is, that, how is that offensive? I won't tell you. Well, I mean, nerds are sexy. That's what I'm told. Don't be a nerd and don't tell me I'm slow playing and that situation won't happen. All right. See, I feel like no wonder why. You and Bobby are buddies, man. You could be a tag team. <laughs> tag team destiny, man. That's the next event. I saw Bobby. I already I'm already three V three champions with these these two guys. So I'll just ride this title. It'll be like wrestling. Like we'll we'll have a good stable going and then I'll get yeah. like kicked out and listen. Good time. The Eagle don't lie. So don't you worry. The eagle about don't it. lie. I saw Bobby take off his little shirt and have his muscle bubble fat muscle shirt on or whatever he was doing. That was a pretty funny moment on the stream. <laughs> uh, real Go quick about when huh? he was wearing the double blanks bandana, real fast. I didn't see it. I didn't. See, was that on stream? It was. Yeah, I think that's when they got muted or something. I don't know. Um, real quick, dark saber. Is this going to be good or bad? Dark saber's bomb. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be bananas. So cool. What's the place? You, be, where, where do you put this card? Good. Where's the Where's the first place you want to try it out in? Uh, oh. I I mean, throw it in Sabine Ezra. Why not? Two copies or one? I mean, he's got a picture of Sabine on it. You gotta play it with Sabine. I would take so. copies. Is this like the Maul's lightsaber for that deck? Uh, it's a little different, but yeah, I think. I think you think yeah, what? It's, Give it. Nah, it's, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than Maul's lightsaber. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, because Maul's lightsaber costs four anyway, basically now. Right. Yeah, so. but you used it twice. Yeah, you used it twice, but like sometimes you can't use it, or sometimes yeah, you know, some some happens, and you're 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 paying a resource, and then yeah, can't, now can't you have to pay. The, yeah, now you have to pay side. a resource, so it's trash now. <laughs> yeah. Is this the first card to be nerfed Wait, before Maul's, it comes out? Maul's only costs three, right? Ma- yeah, Maul's costs three, but, one but to bring it, it costs one to, to, to roll it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's where the four is coming from. Coming maybe, from. You, uh, maybe you put an Invader Raider. That's what I've oh, been Yeah, hearing. absolutely. It'd be a pretty good Invader Raider. I really like the design and mechanic of this card because it incentivizes playing those high-cost characters and playing those, like, three three die starting decks again and stuff like that. And I hope they continue this trend to keep this three die Darth Vader type decks uh, in in the meta. Well, we know that 20 plus cost of characters are going to be unstoppably good because look at Grievous. Like I said, when Grievous was spoiled, like they're finally getting what a 20 plus cost of character should be. And it's like Grievous kills you. Just yeah. murders you dead. Yeah. yeah, you know this. This thing is pretty sweet on Grievous too. Yeah. So just oh, it's four a, damage, five damage. That's pretty sick. Not, it's, Focus. It's not like, even the holy. damage side. That's cool and all, but it's like yeah. let's say you hit the resource side. Okay, I just paid two for a dark saber. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, hundred percent. Or even one. Yeah, one. Less than it's that. crazy. One. What's Bo- so good? What's a uh, Boba Fett? Isn't Boba Fett? Uh... Reduce it cost by one. Yeah, but it's so it's sixteen. So it's increased yeah, by so one. So it's a, a three, a four, a three focus, two resources, two shields. Like for three, right? Uh, wait, what? For three cost because isn't it the the cost of the weapons reduced by one on Boba Fett? No. What's, wait, what's what's so. that? What cards? What card am I thinking of? That yellow card. Know. Yellow cards are reduced. Isn't there something where you reduce the cost I by think, one? I think you know cards that we don't know. Are you spo- <laughs> you spoiling some cards oh, here, I think coach. I, I think I did it too early. I think it too too, too early. What, what was it? Boba <laughs> Fett. What's Boba Fett? Say? I have no clue what you're talking about. Uh, there's some card, the yellow card that you can. Are, are you are you thinking of Padawan? Is it? Uh, Padawan's no. blue, Mister Podcast Man. Dang. No, I <laughs> yes, I understand that, sir. It's another one, though. I thought it was a yellow. There's one where yellow is reduced by one. What is that? Huh. Maybe not. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's in my Yellow is reduced by one. You can play this with uh, Built to Last. Yeah, that'd be sick. Mm. Okay, hang on. All right, Wait, let's, Built let's to Last. Doesn't it have to be a blue? 
No. Um, no. Has, or is it just any? After you play a unique upgrade, you may exhaust this plot to gain a resource. <clears throat> oh, this that's going to be sick. Yeah. So And doesn't play, it give them redeploy? Well, this yeah, one already does. This already has but, it, so yeah. maybe, maybe it's not as good. Hold on. I'm going to find this because I'm not going to let you guys rip on me <laughs> and be right. And then a <laughs> week later. Play, what? What? What text are you talking about? What there is a say? card that weapons placed in this character reduced by a cost of one or something. Yellow, I thought. Yeah, pa- that, that's Padawan. Yeah, that's blue. No, I know it's, it's Maybe yellow. that new Bo-Katan ride. Nah, she's, uh, you can include yellow villain upgrade. Yeah, by the way, that's a perfect card for her too. I mean, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a good one on her for sure. She's 20, right? Dang. I just don't know it? if she's better than Sabine. Yeah. I'd her her die is kind of better than Sabine's not Chewbacca, it's yeah. not Chad Bane. It's not... And she has one more health, I think. Yeah, yeah, she does. It's not Finn. But, so. I mean, part, part of why Sabine is good is because she doesn't care about your rule. Yeah. So. I, think exactly. you're, uh, I think you're thinking of Yoda, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Play a yellow weapon or equipment from your discard pile on this character, uh-huh. decreasing uh-huh. its cost by two. What, I- what card is that? I-G-A-D-8. Oh, oh my god! Oh, you gotta be you're kidding! T- you're about this it. is what you're fucking. Oh <laughs> no, that's not the guy. That's not the guy. That's not the one I was thinking. About. There's more. Hold on. Where is it? Damn. I think you're thinking of Yoda. Yeah, am I? They're not thinking of Yoda. Wait. Oh, I'm thinking of Jin or so. The, the cost of the Jin first yeah, The cost of the first yellow. By the way, she's 20. You could play this on her. You could. Nothing lines up though. She's got guns. But garbage. The cost of the cost of the first yellow event. Don't hate Jin. The, the cost the of very, the first yellow event's one. The very first night, D House, it was me, uh, Jay, and D House sharing a room at the Radisson. And it was like 2 a.m. D House was trying to go to sleep. We had the t- <laughs> all three of us enjoy having the TV on. And it, there was some show on that was, ta- it was the Talking Dead, I want to say. Yes. And they were just like, they were doing their sign off. <laughs> it was just like Chris Hardwick. <laughs> They were like, until next time, everybody. <laughs> they just started doing this really annoying thing. And I'm, Jay grabs the remote with. <laughs> Great. Good, good story. God, that was really good. All right. Well, I'm really I excited. Immediately about turn it off, <laughs> is what the end of that sentence was. Oh, you know you what it is? See Chris, I know you what can I... see Chris Hardwick, like, hear his voice just being like, what <laughs> Or whatever the hell he did. I know what I was thinking of. What? What were you thinking of? Vibro Cutlass. It's decreased the resource cost in this die by one when played on a yellow character. That's what I was thinking, Boba Fett. (laughs) But if you put that on, put that and a black saber on a like twenty cost yellow character, you're doing some damage. It's a a lot. Dark saber. Black Dark saber. saber. It's the same thing. Right. Uh, it's black saber. Listen, last thing I want to talk to you about. This is really serious. I want to talk about Gen Chris's Kick. computer turned off. Jet- <laughs> <laughs> he made enough money in his last stream to get a new computer. What is going on with that guy? Here we go. You tell me. Event registration is now open. This is for Gen Con. Uh, 84 days. Can't wait. 84 days for nationals, guys. We got to start getting serious. Question one. Yeah. Do you think... Yeah, the Mike says yes. He, you picked the deck the night of the tournament. That was <laughs> after the first round began. You're like All for right, worlds, though. For, I'm, for, for worlds. Gen Con, I'm, I, I'm actually proud. Yeah, Gen Con series, worlds yeah. or whatever. Um, so here it is. I, I'm not even talking about nationals. Star Wars Destiny. If you click on that in Gen Con, I couldn't. Bl- this is Star Wars Destiny, two thousand dollar blue qualifier. Did you see this? Oh, uh, that was a garbage. Oh, okay, sorry. The- don't pay attention to those. Okay. It's at $2,000. Eh. Is it not? Uh, so you get a Paul LaRue alternate art card, <laughs> whatever that is. First place is 1000 Second place is 250 Is this a scam? I have a feeling, uh, I have a feeling okay. that not you are supporting like 10 different Nigerian princesses. Okay. <laughs> so how about this one? This is a uh, Star Wars Destiny North American Championships Day 1. How about that one? That that, sounds, that's the one you want. 20 bucks. That sounds legit. 20 bucks to get in. Thursday, 12 o'clock. You're all going to be in it? Hell We're yeah. We're playing on it. One more question I have. The bo- So they had yeah. a, in the background, I think it was during like the final match, you kept hearing a guy say, 
Now playing. Build a box. Build a deck out of a box. <laughs> Look at these boxes. They're looking for two more. We've got two players to We did not do it. How, and they, uh, special discounted rate. How much were they charging for boxes, uh, Legacies? Oh, I, I have no idea. The, everything there was MSRP. Yeah, I figured. I figured. Yeah. So you tell me, coach. 115 you, you, bucks. I, I bought a box would, since 1975. I, so. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would guess that the box tournament buy-in was a hundred dollars, but that but that is a complete guess. We we, we were busy watching. Actually, the house. I do think they said it was eighty. Eighty? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm pretty sure they said it was eighty. Hmm. So I played in a uh, pity we're not at Worlds party on uh, May the fourth, and they had awesome specials at Millennium Games, and there was a Empire War box. I got it for forty seven bucks. Nice. And I just had to buy it. I mean, for a chance at a, you know, a, whatchamacallit in there. Yeah. And you don't you have a play set of Empire War? I do. Yep. I got a play set. And, 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 and you paid 40 more dollars to have more. Yep. Because I have three ancient lightsabers. I want a fourth. So I don't have to what? keep. I don't want Why to... didn't you just. You should have just sent me the box. I would have sent it to you. I told you, Jay. <laughs> you tell me what you want to play at Gen Con. You're set. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you. Of my course deck. you are. I know you're going to. Send. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to play a regional. Listen to me right now. This is the God's honest truth. And I'm going to post the text on Twitter so you can see it. I sent and I talked to Jay about it. And I said, I want to play Jesus Kylo Christ. Anakin. I want to play Kylo Anakin at regionals. I'm like, will you look at this? You're like, yeah, I'll look at it. But you know, Chris is the guy. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. I sent a text to Chris. I sent him a picture. I said, dude, I need your advice. He's like, no problem. I'll text you when I get back from work. Still waiting for that list. <laughs> I, had, I knew it. I knew it at regional, and I couldn't do it. That is not the coaching I need. Rebel Gray said he would come on and help me, and I may just it may just be jumping ship, guys. Listen, the, the last of- deck list I gave you was Mace Moz and K Two S O Ray. So you tell me <laughs> who you want to give you deck list. <laughs> I think Mike. Maybe I think Mike might might not lead me astray because uh, yeah, you you haven't tried me yet. So God nothing's working maybe it's me I, i'm trying not to blame myself i'm blaming other people at this point so that's uh, is that what you played at regionals is kylo anakin no i wanted to but i couldn't so i played uh, play? i played boba seven. Oh yeah that's right i remember that now uh, i had a question by the way that came over twitter it was why do they call that deck stairs and it's because yeah, like, we've we been mean, trying to figure that out all week. They stare. All Their faces stare <laughs> they're staring like ray is staring and alis they're like staring in the camera <laughs> no, I think Legit. it's that's, something like No, that's it. Stairs. I'm no, not... that's it's S T S T A I R S. For not what? S T A R E S. I don't think so. I think it's No, sta- it is. Okay, why because is Because it... I heard Bobby the other day say something about like why not just take the stairs or something like that. Um I'm telling you. But I don't get the context. Like, instead of taking the elevator, why not just take the stairs? Is that what it is? But I don't get it. I still haven't figured it out. I thought it was stairs because their face is just staring at the camera. I'm not kidding. Unless I'm crazy. I could have sworn it was S-T-A-I-R-S. It is. It's, well, it is on, uh, I'm on Hyperloops right now. It says stairs, S-T-A-I-R-S. Yeah, told you. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you, dude. All right. Well, there's your answer. I thought it was because they're staring at the camera. Well, I like my that's the new better. reason. Yeah, <laughs> but no one. <laughs> that we don't know make, that. that makes more sense. Honestly, yeah, stairs. Interesting. All right. Anything else for the good of the order? Where did Chris go again? Uh, he just texted me. Let me let me see what this punk ass said. Um, <laughs> God, your PC fan has failed. Failed in red text, and then it shuts <laughs> off. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so there you go quality oh, content feel so creepy bad. At, he said it's really creepy it's creepy um, error CPU fan has failed PC will automatically power down in a few seconds service PC immediately prevent damage to CPU that's it so uh no more <laughs> Friday night dice that's I it. guess Friday night dice is over <laughs> here's my last question do you think uh, the uh, way of the force will be out by Gen Con uh yeah, that's what August. It's an eighty four. Def- it's an eighty four days, Jay. Like, do you think all the spoilers could come out? All that conversation and the release of it in eighty four days. 
Oh, it'll it'll be released by Gen Con. No doubt in my mind. It's got to be released. Like, this is Nationals. So, I mean, would you think 30 days is fair with new cards? Uh, yeah. 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 So, sounds about right. right. And usually they have, like, half the set on TTS before it even drops anyway. So Yeah. You got plenty of time to practice. So 45 days. That means in uh, six weeks, they got a lot of work to do. They got a lot of work to do for sure. Well, guys, listen. Six weeks yeah. until it drops to give us a whole month to prepare. Yes. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think it'll be there. I think yeah. I think it'll be it'll be released by then. And uh this just in, there's a prediction. Who would get the first spoiler? Right now at S uh SW Destiny is uh, leading the list for uh, who's gonna get the first <laughs> spoiler. The ha. the site that that hasn't been updated in like six It doesn't matter. It's listen, it's the love <laughs> of the game. It's the love of the game. And it's clearly amongst all of you. I think my last, uh, okay, no, I, I thought my last article on there was legacy spoilers, but it no. was not. I do believe, Mike, though, you called easy pickings the best card in the game. Uh, I definitely called it one of the best. Very and early. That, that, is, that is still true. I found that of watching those streams, this is my last takeaway, that watching the streams, the three cards that I thought were the most oppressive out of all of them mm-hmm. were easy pickings was second chance and four solution. And if all three of those go away, I think it'd be okay. hundred percent. It was crazy. That card was everywhere. All three. Yeah. Of them. It was just made th- those two cards, not easy pickings. And I think you said it, Jay, those two cards make the game way longer than it needs to be. Yeah. <laughs> so I wish that they would both go They're away. So bad. They're so bad. But anyway, could you imagine how different the game would be if those three cards didn't exist? Oh, it'd be so much better. I think it would be way better. I really do. <laughs> I really do. It'd be so much. I it would be better paced. Insane. Better paced. Like, please, can we can we do that? I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's basically what it is in trilogy. It's right. Fun. Right. Like tr- trilogy I, does does have easy pickings, but meh. I think if you remove second chance and force illusion, then easy pickings is fine. Yeah. Right. The, the, the game the game gets so much better if you get rid of those two cards at least. They're still going to be around for a while. That's the thing. Like people are not wanting to buy all these old <laughs> cards. They're going to be around for a while. There's still another year. Yeah. yeah. At this true. rate, by the way, at this rate, wow. if they're like, I mean, forget <laughs> it. They're permanent. Well, when did when did Legacies come out? G- well, officially January. Said, yeah, officially Jane. Like Jan- it was before Christmas, right? In I think, Europe, I, I think it was January. Let's let's assume Here, January. Yeah, so January. Like Awak- like a year Awakenings. No, like legacies, right? Oh, legacies. legacies. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, Awakenings in came out in like December, right? Yeah, yeah. So we got like a year and a half left. Oh, yeah. Too they, long. They got to do something about that. Well, we'll see. We'll see what they do. But are you shuffling cards, Jay? Yeah. You've got enough yeah. to do that with now. That's <laughs> awesome. And you got your VIP bag. Yeah. <laughs> these are like regular playing cards awesome. bob's burgers in fact there you go well guys listen thank you for taking time tonight it was a long night and i appreciate all of your help and uh making this happen and i cannot wait for gen con it's gonna happen and are you guys definitely in is this are you teasing me oh i'm in yeah right. no i i really am trying to plan a way to go all right awesome mike i'll tell you where my hotel is uh jay i don't know we'll have to see We'll see how you're not we'll going to stay in the Airbnb with us. You're in an Airbnb. That's what uh, we're going to try to do. If, yeah, if, yeah, if you're going to try to find a hotel room. Yeah. That's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely not doing it. I'm too old guys. Listen, there are old bones. I can't, I can't do it. And I heard a horrible bed bug story from Airbnb. Oh gosh. Okay. I can't imagine. Well, don't tell me. Well, don't ruin <laughs> it. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> If if you can find a hotel room near the convention center that's under like a thousand dollars a night, you you let us know. All right, let's see what we can do. <laughs> let's see what we can do. I'm hoping my press pass comes through for that, so we'll see. Not that I mean the yeah. tickets aren't that expensive, but yeah, yeah, for what you get. But uh, Mike, thank you so much. I'm sorry you have to put up with them all the time. I think they've like <laughs> infected you, but yeah, and, I, I I appreciate the sentiment, but. It, <laughs> They just won't leave. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I do think we've slowly infected Mike with our, <laughs> our humor. And, uh, slowly but surely. Jay, anything you want to say about Chris before you go, since he's not here? Yeah. Ugly. Real quick, real quick, go to go to sirchristopher.com slash YouTube channel. Click unsubscribe. Unsubscribe that. Yep. 
Go over to Discard Reroll, hit subscribe, go. go to Jedi Trials, subscribe, and then go to Double Blanks, create six different accounts, and subscribe with all of them. Yep. <laughs> are they gonna are you actually gonna be doing some Star Wars now, Destiny? Dude, he's back. I had baby. one final today, and then my last final is on Thursday. My wedding shower, couples wedding shower is on Friday. Yes. And then after that, summer hits. Boom. Dude, I'm gonna be pumping Balls. out some content. Destiny. When is the magic to the wall? When's the magic date? For what? Your your wedding. Oh, that thing? Oh yeah. That's uh September third. Yes. Do you know why? 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 Because nine is divisible by three, so it's easy to remember. Mm. Nice. Nine three. Nine is divisible by three. Listen, nobody will ever accuse Jay of slow play. I'll tell you that right now. He's got the <laughs> math down in this whole game. Uh, yeah. But Jay, you are the man. And we're glad that you're blue, back. Blue algebra. Blue algebra. B-B-E. That card. <laughs> Je- that was Jedi Trials all day. Didn't you guys spoil it? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Who's going to get the best one now? We'll see. If oh, we- I am. I feel oh that. well, I I had a long discussion with Jeremy Zwern, and yeah. uh, he said he said he's hooking me up. Uh huh. He right. said I don't care about any other podcast. <laughs> no <laughs> kidding. Got to get you guys. I was called a a cheap spinoff, is what I was called. <laughs> Somebody called that on Reddit, and thank you. That's awesome. I appreciate. It. And <laughs> Someone that was, called you. Yeah, a cheap spinoff, and I and that was my mother, which was interesting. I didn't even know she listened <laughs> to you guys. Listen for Jay and for Chris, who's got a bad computer, and for Mike, uh, who is the like one of you're our world champion, which is amazing. And for all the other people who uh, support us and patrons and everything, thank you for sticking with the show. We uh we love you guys and uh and really love the game and it's not dying so don't worry about it no more rally aid this is all about uh sound the alarm because the fun's starting to happen <laughs> and uh as always everybody make sure all your rerolls are special ones we'll see you next time.